Apple forgets the genius ads. I stop motion three released. AT&T continues its idiocy and some Hulu changes. It's Thursday, August 23rd, 2012, and this is iWeek. I'm Tim Chatton, and this is what's going on in the Apple world today. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of iWeek. Today's episode won't be too long, as there isn't that much going on in the Apple world today. With that said, Apple first is trying to get rid of those Apple Genius ads. It ran during the opening weekend of the Olympics. Apple's removed the ads from their website and their YouTube channel. This is very strange as the ads are fairly new, and Apple doesn't traditionally remove uh, videos like this, uh, at least this quickly. Anyways, if you thought Apple was proud of these ads, think again. I'd say it's now confirmed that they didn't like them either. Next up is the rather exciting news from Boinks. Boinks has released iStop Motion 3. Boinks is the maker of Boinks TV, the app I'm using right now to create this very show you're listening to, Mouse Pose, and several other fantastic apps. The new release of, stop, of the Stop Motion Animation app comes with a drastically reduced price point as well. iStop Motion 3 will be available for a limited time at 30 bucks. Its regular price is $50 when it goes up August 31st. This is down from the $500 price tag of iStop Motion 2 Pro. According to TUAW, that lower price point doesn't mean that iStop Motion 3 has fewer features. In fact, it actually has all the capabilities of the previous $500 Pro version, plus a bunch of new ones. The app has a new look and support for Retina displays, integration with Final Cut Pro 10, its sandbox, developer sign, is, and is compatible with Mountain Lion. One of the key features that's new in this app is the ability to use an iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch as a remote camera for the app over Wi-Fi. To use your iOS device as an HD camera, you will need to download the free iStop Motion remote camera app from the iOS app store. iStop Motion is an incredible app that is now affordable for everyone. If you have any interest in stop motion or time lapse creation, I jump on this while it's still at $30. It should be noted educational institutions can get a bundle deal for a bunch of licenses if they so desire. The price will go up to $50 on August 31st. It's available in the App Store or from their website. iStop Motion is also a iPad app if you want to do stop motion animation on your iPad. Anyways, a great app that I would really recommend picking up. Another news is AT&T. They are at it again with another defense of their indefensible, crazy stance on FaceTime. Here is their new statement that will inspire even more hatred of the already hated company. AT&T's plans for FaceTime will not violate either requirement. Our policies regarding FaceTime will be fully transparent to all consumers, and no one has argued to the contrary. There's no transparency issue here. Nor is there a blocking issue. The FCC's net neutrality rules do not regulate the availability to to customers of applications that are preloaded on phones. Indeed, the rules do not require that providers make available any preloaded apps. Rather, they require whether customers are able to download apps that compete with our voice and telephony service. AT&T does not restrict customers from downloading any such lawful applications, and there are several video and chat apps available in the various app stores serving particular operating systems. So there you go. Um, Enough is enough here, AT&T. You are on the side of a losing argument that makes customers want to throw pitchforks at you. Now, if only Apple released an App Store version of FaceTime, We'd all have a way around AT&T's argument here. Anyways, another day in the FaceTime battle. We are now a month away from iOS 6's release when this will really be a problem. Next up is one nice thing coming in OS 10.8.1, and that is battery life. Many people have noted that Mountain Lion sucks with battery life. I have noted a similar thing. According to one developer, a developer, Until I installed 10.8.1 on my MacBook, I was showing 4 hours and 5 minutes after a full charge. After installing 10.8.1, it's showing over 8 hours. So it seems that the next update will be a a radical one for battery life. 
This is great news for me as my MacBook Air has around a two hour battery life now. So it'll get around four after this change, hopefully. Last up today are some possible changes coming to Hulu this fall. According to the Macworld, in September, Hulu's owners, including Comcast News, uh, Comcast News Corp. and the Walt Disney Corporation, are expected to buy out their fourth partner, the investment firm Providence Equity Partners. If that happens, the networks will have full control over the site's content deals, which could significantly affect what shows up on Hulu. So what changes may come? Well, first up is Hulu's lack of exclusivity. Macworld exp explains by saying, the latest episode from shows on ABC and Fox would no longer be required to show up on Hulu first before filtering out to other third-party sites. Instead, popular shows such as Modern Family and Glee could show up early on other free video streaming services that cut deals with the networks. Fox currently allows only subscribers to Cable One, Dish, and Verizon to view Fox content on Hulu the day after the initial broadcast. Other Hulu users typically get access to new TV episodes eight days following its first airing. So killing exclusivity could make it easier to find content the day after its initial release beyond just Hulu. And this could be a good thing for users like me and you. So first thing's a good thing. Uh, the other things might not be so good. Uh, next up is a, it, we may have a change in lack of parity between sites. Right now, if a new show is available on ABC.com or Fox.com, it's generally on Hulu. But that may not be the case if a new content licensing rights are hammered out. The two networks apparently want to be able to hold back content from Hulu to differentiate it from the other sites. If this is true, there would be less of a reason to actually use Hulu. And finally, Fox wants even more ads. Fox apparently wants to boost the number of ads in a video to as many as four per commercial break instead of one. It is unclear if every network would follow suit or not. Either way, both good and bad changes are coming to Hulu if this buyout does happen. Now, if only Hulu Plus would offer the same content available on the free Hulu, we'd be in business. Anyways, that's what's going on in the Apple world today. I guess I lied about it being a short show as the stories we did have were rather meaty. <laughs> you can find the show notes at iwakepodcast.com. I also do videos over at youtube.com slash tchatton. And finally, if you'd like to access the script as well as bonus content, head on over to iwakepodcast.com slash again. That's where you'll you'll find all the info you need about iWake again, which I do shows every Saturday for that one. Thanks for watching or listening. I'll be back for another episode of I Wake tomorrow. Have a great week. Have a great evening. Talk to everyone again real soon.